Hello everyone once again, this is Rob and welcome back to Media Awareness and another first reaction video. Before I continue, however, a quick reminder the fundraiser continues. For those of you unaware, I am a disabled individual and I use a motorized wheel wheelchair slash scooter all day every day for my independence and I need your help. My insurance will not cover anything with regard to my scooter, they view it as a quote luxury item, end quote. Therefore, I'm reaching out to you, my YouTube, my YouTube community, for your help. I do have a spot fund account set up below this video at, in two places in the description. You can find the link directly below the title in the description. And below that, there is a separate section as well. And then all support is welcome. My goal at this point in time is to make sure I have the necessary parts on hand so that when these parts fail on my scooter, I can have them replaced ASAP. It is my only means of, in of independence on a daily basis. I do not have a regular, regular wheelchair, nor can I use a regular wheelchair due to my particular dexterity issues. I'm also unable to use any other, any other type of scooter, um, so I'm limited to what I have, and I have to make it last. And I'm in the process of refurbishing it, um, having it basically restored to pristine condition with each and every part I can obtain. And my goal is to make sure it does, it does not fail on me, as if it does... I will be reliant on people and on an everyday basis to push me around and get me from point A to point B. And I pride myself on my independence. And I do not want to have to rely on people in that manner. So I do really appreciate any and all help. I do want to extend a gracious thanks to those who have contributed thus far as your contributions have made a world of difference in my life, and I appreciate you all. And the same goes for those who plan on contributing, as you're all wonderful people, and I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. So, Bruce Dickinson has a new solo uh, album coming out called The Mandrake Project. It's scheduled for release on March 1st of 2024, and... Rain on the Graves is the single that I'm going to be reacting to, and it is uh, first time I'm going to be hearing something new from Bruce Dickinson as far as solo material since his 2005 album. I have all of his solo albums. I'm a huge Bruce Dickinson fan. I've always loved his uh, solo material, actually, over his work with Iron Maiden. I do love his work with Iron Maiden, but I've I've always appreciated his solo albums more. Um, in particular, uh, The Chemical Wedding and Accident of Birth. Accident. Those were my two favorite Bruce Dickinson solo albums, uh, and I play them a lot. <laughs> um, also, the live album. Scream for Me Brazil is also great. And that was actually my introduction to Bruce's solo work. So, uh, you know, that made me dive in deeper. And uh, if you haven't checked out Bruce's solo work, that's a good starting point, uh, in, in my opinion. And uh, this is a concept album, it looks like. And um, interesting, uh, very gothic oriented concept, concept album and um, uh, occult oriented and I, I love that about Bruce he's always very uh, thought provoking and insightful in terms of uh, what he presents to us the fans and the audience and I'm looking forward to seeing what this sounds like um, so I want to get to this, and if this is blocked, 
you will see a blurb on the screen indicating it is blocked. I will try and uh, have some audio present if that is the case. Um, however, I can't make any promises on that. Um, I will do what I can, though, to present some audio if it is blocked. However, uh, let's hope it's not. And regardless of whether it is or isn't, you should always click on the source audio link, which will be the video itself, which I'm linking below. And I do this for uh, a few reasons. One, because it's a lot better for you, the viewer, to see the actual video itself without me in the corner somewhere up there in the ether or also to actually experience the video itself in its optimum sound quality and you're giving the artists themselves the clicks that they deserve as any musicians and bands, no matter the genre, work extremely hard to bring us the fans this incredible music. So always give them the clicks and please check out their videos either before you watch my reaction or afterwards, but please do so. So, without further ado, let us check out Bruce Dickinson's new song, Rain on the Graves. This is once again from the upcoming release, The Mandrake Project. Scheduled for release once again March 1st, 2024, and I will be back afterwards with my assessment. Churchyard, I came across a man. He smiled and slowly beckoned me with a trembling hand. Did you come to gamble? Huh? Did you come to pray? What's the meaning of your business here on a stormy day? The raindrop spotted on the tomb from gray and leaden skies. Deny me once, deny me twice, don't look in my eyes!
he denied the truth that he had come to steal To kneel before the poet, not the altar or the priest He's washed himself in misery before he came to pray He'd hoped in his false penitence some sympathy he'd sway Dickinson just released a new video today, an unboxing video of the Mandrake Project. So I figured I would include that with this reaction and react to this as well. Um, as I'm really looking forward to this new album from Bruce. And it kind of blindsided me. I wasn't even aware that he was coming out with something new. And then um, uh, just 
yesterday, I believe it was, uh, Rain on the Graves appeared um, on my YouTube feed. So I wanted to cover that today. And I may as well cover the unboxing as it was just posted a few hours ago. And like I said, the album does come out March 1st. So we do have a, a little ways to wait. Um, not too long, though. And this will be exciting. So I'm going to share this with you guys. And I'll be back after this with my assessment of the song itself and what Bruce is about to show us, as I have no idea. <laughs> So let us see together. Folks, never let it be said that it's not Christmas every single day of the year. So just to prove <laughs> it, but um, this is it. This is the vinyl, um, double vinyl actually of the album. This is the first time I've handled it, touched it, it's wrapped in cellophane. I'm going to rip off the cellophane like you should all do with your Christmas presents, even if it's not Christmas. Yeah, look at that. It's amazing. Look at, and that is actually embossed. That's really, really cool. I can't believe it. Yeah. And then there's that one. And yeah. And then on the inside. Oh, did I mention this is the limited edition one? This is the one with the uh, uh, blue, blue vinyl. Yeah which, uh, yeah, and then the other record, I think we've probably got, oh, blue vinyl on as well. Oh, look how cool that is. <laughs> and you, you, can, you can get your own. Please don't put this in any public place where somebody might complain about it and make a stencil. No, please be responsible with your stenciling, you know? Uh, look at that, it's awesome. It's just brilliant. I want one, I can't have one because this one's going to be given to somebody else. Yeah, the other one's blue as well, but it's different. It's got like different songs on it and stuff, but just to confuse you, it's blue. Mind you, the old versions were all black, so I mean, people seem to handle that, so that's not a problem. Look, it's mega. I'm so proud of it. And just, you will not believe, you will not believe the stuff we have been shooting in Santa's Grotto uh, today, uh, which um, we'll, we'll get around to uh, later. It. trust me enjoy have a great Christmas if it's before Christmas have a great Christmas if it's after Christmas because there'll be another one like buses London buses come along to three at a time <laughs> so that was amazing I, I have to say that was Bruce Dickinson's Rain on the Graves from his new upcoming release The Mandrake Project scheduled for release on March 1st, 2024. And great song, really great song. Love, love the vibe of it. Bruce's voice, still very powerful, as powerful as it ever was, in my opinion. Um, and just really great lyrics, uh, very um, interesting, uh, sort of dark, uh, feel to it, which is common with Bruce's solo work. Um, more so, I, I would say, than his work with Maiden. Maiden, um, there was a certain uh, lyrical caliber that Maiden had that uh, always was quite drastically different from Bruce from Bruce's solo work. And I've always, like I said, I've always preferred Bruce's solo work, despite the fact I never had the opportunity to see him live on the on his solo tours. Um, <clears throat> I have seen him live for uh, the Iron Maiden Brave New World tour uh, years ago, and that was quite the experience, to say the least. So if you do have the chance to see Bruce Dickinson, do not miss it. It is a treat. But um, Rain on the Graves, this is a great song. And I love the song. The video is really interesting and really very, very tongue-in-cheek, but also really uh, nicely shot, very classically shot. Love the um, you know, classic 
uh, horror film approach to the video and um, the themes with Atlas throughout the video itself reflecting um, a lot of the lyrical content really nicely done and I'm really impressed with this. I can't wait to hear this album now. Another album I'm going to be adding to the Amazon Media Awareness wish list. Uh, this is definitely one that I need to add to my Bruce Dickinson collection. Amazing. This is amazing. The Maverick Project due out once again um, on March 1st, 2024. Now let us discuss the unboxing. Now he unboxed the vinyl set um, there. I will be, of course, getting the CDs um, as my dexterity doesn't really allow for um, handling of vinyl in a very efficient manner. But um, it's interesting that the packaging is just superb. But the blue vinyl, the limited edition, looks amazing. And the uh, stencil in, in, that comes with it is also really, really cool. I'm hoping that is included with the CD um, edition. I'm not sure if it is, but I guess I will find out eventually. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and I hope you enjoyed the song as much as I did, assuming you were able to experience it. If you weren't, as stated previously, you will see um, the video links below in the description, and you can click on it for yourself and experience it, which I do highly, highly recommend doing regardless of whether or not you watch this right with me or not. Click on his video, watch it for yourself, and make an informed decision. Leave your comments below on this song and your opinions on Bruce's solo work, on uh, Bruce's his work with Iron Maiden. Um, I've always considered them to be drastically different, in my humble opinion, um, both lyrically and musically. And uh, this song really is impressive. Nevertheless, do check this out, and I will be back soon with another video. Um, in the meantime, though, please uh, don't forget the fundraiser continues. Contribute what you can. Any and all support will be helpful. My wheelchair van is no longer functional, so I'm sort of lamenting that at the moment, and I do not need my scooter to malfunction on top of not having the ability to travel to and fro as I please. So, please do what you can. That's all I ask. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you all very soon. Have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.